You know, fall entertaining is some of the comfiest entertaining oh. of all. And it can yes. be really nice when you've got all of the right pieces to make yes. it all come together, right? That's right. It's that time of year we want to come in and make soup and yeah. invite your friends over. And what we've done today, first of all, everything I brought in is from HomeSense. And now this could be scaled up to a big house if you yeah. have a big table. But I wanna say like entertaining is still doable in a small space. It is. So we're showing, and this looks beautiful, um, mix and match chairs. So yeah. let's say you didn't have enough dining chairs, but these were in your living room. Bring them in, it looks beautiful together. And then bar carts too. If you have mm. a small dining room where you don't have a big sideboard or servery, you can use one of them as a bar. That's how we've set them up. This one's set up as a bar so your guests can get out of the way and help themselves to a drink. Yep. And the other little bar cart is set up as a little serving station. Ooh, that so one's you really have, nice. Isn't it pretty? I love the Lucite. So chic. And it also, because it's Lucite, it just, it's not a clunky piece. Yes. You can almost put it anywhere That's and right. it doesn't feel like Worth it's taking up a lot of space. Every room of the house. Yeah. But today we're in the dining room mm -hmm. and this is kind of meant to be fall entertaining, like sort of the shoulder season in between. This yes. could easily translate to holiday, but it's all about texture. You'll see we don't have a ton of bright color here. Mm -hmm. We have muted grays, tone-on-tone -tone metallics, and lots and lots of texture. The bark, the, yes. the little wood cutting boards, and how cute is this? Well, I want what's in it, which is bread. Little mini baguette, mini baguette. But like the but little, the burlap, all of that, yes. everything this time of year you want to touch and it's feel. Rich. I love the amount of rose gold in here. Yes. That gorgeous. Lot of copper. And pinky mixing, copper. Almost like the high and low. So in the layered plates we have, this is a really easy way to do a plate place setting because you just use the plate that's on top first and then yep. take them away, peel away the layers. Yep. So we've got the stoneware that's more rustic with Turkish glass. The same way we have burlap and beautiful velvet on the chairs, yeah, right? Mix so and match it mix up. Mix and match. That's what makes it feel stylish and fresh. That Absolutely. it's not predictable. Now let's talk about this black flatware. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I love this. It's like the earrings. It's the jewelry, the earrings of the Isn't table. That gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. And it's beautiful. I also want to say, like a lot of people think of steak knives as sort of utilitarian. You might buy stylish flatware, but then you didn't, you're like, oh, grab the old steak knives from That's years true. and years ago. But l look, like that is just beautiful. Yes. They mix together so nicely, and it's a way, again, of mixing patterns. And it makes sense to actually just get the good steak knives, because you're going to be using those knives probably more than you're yes. using the other ones. So get the good ones. Get the nice ones. Or the nice ones. Yeah, it doesn't and mean they're expensive, but they, they don't have to good. be expensive. I mean, these are French, and they're beautiful mm. and really good quality that will last a long time. But still, you could do something cool. And then, love this um, kind of almost block printed looking napkin. And how easy is this? Tuck the napkin under one of the plates. Yes. Let it drape down. You know, you're not worrying about napkin styling or right. the perfect fold. It's a pretty easy, easy thing to that's do. That's actually a very smart thing. I like that everyone gets their own little cutting board. Yes. Now that's, that's very cool. So you, they get their own little bread and they get their own little. What are we yes. going to use? Is so this jam? You could put butter, but I mean, butter, I like something jam. like this miniature Moscow mule full of chutney. Oh, and that's yes. why you give them a little spoon. They could put it, the chutney on their bread. That's and a great I think idea. that it's, you know, those personal details that make it very memorable for your guests. Right. And I'm all for anything miniature and anything for individual at the place settings. So yes. very sophisticated, but a touch of cute. You can have a couple little foxy salt and pepper shakers cute. to bring some whimsy. I think uh, it takes it to the next level when everyone gets their own little thing. Exactly. Right? It doesn't have to be a big Every party. Time. It just has to be nope. a really well done small party exactly. and everybody feels good about it.